Hi, this is question three from the AQA Mechanics 2 January 2013 exam paper. Um, a van of mass 1,500 kilograms travels at a constant speed of 22 meters per second up a slope inclined at an angle of theta to the horizontal where the sine of theta is equal to 1 25th. The van experiences a resistance force of 8,000 newtons. We need to find the power output of the van's engine and we need to give our answer in kilowatts. So I'm going to start off by drawing myself um, a nice diagram to illustrate this. Uh, let's have a green one. Okay, so um, I'm going to have a slope that's going to be inclined at the angle theta. And I've got a van, um, and I'm going to draw myself a van over here. This is my van. And um, it has a mass of 1,500 kilograms. So that means that there's going to be a force that's acting downward from this van here. That's going to be 1,500 times by gravity. I'm also going to have a reaction force on my van, which is going to be going in this direction here. And we are told that it experiences a resistance force of 8,000 newtons. So it's, um, it's uh, going up the slope, so the resistance force must be going in this direction here, and that's going to be 8,000 newtons. Okay, so um, we're also going to have, um, because there's, there's, there's a power involved as well, um, and obviously it's travelling up the slope, so there's going to be some sort of driving force that's going to be acting in this direction here. So um, I'm now going to resolve this horizontal, uh, sorry, um, resolve this parallel to the plane. So um, that means that I've got my driving force and because well it's in equilibrium it's traveling at a constant speed of 22 meters per second so it's in equilibrium so um, I'm going to have um, my D my uh, driving force is going to be equal to the forces that are acting um, away from it so I've got my driving force is going to be equal to uh, 8,000 which is the resistance force plus the um, component of the weight that's acting parallel to um, the slope so that's going to be 1,500 G and it's going to be sine theta Okay, and that's the component of this force here that's acting in this direction. Okay, so that's what my driving force is going to be equal to. Um, now, my um, I'm told that sine theta is equal to one twenty fifth. Um, so I can say, well, my driving force is going to be equal to eight thousand plus one thousand five hundred times by nine point eight times by 125th. If I calculate that I get a um, driving force that's going to be equal to 8588 newtons. Okay so um, my power It's going to be equal to my driving force, which is this here, times by my speed. So I'm going to use 8,588 times by 22, which is my speed. So that tells me that my power is going to be equal to 
um, 188,936 watts. Okay, and um, we're being asked to give our answer in kilowatts, so I'm going to say, well, that's going to be um, 189 kilowatts. And there's our solution there. Okay, thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.